If you promise not to judge me, I am going to share a secret with you. In my spare time, which is very very rare, I really love to talk to AI models through Silly Tavern randomly. In this video, I am going to share a new model which I have discovered which seems quite promising in terms of role play with Silly Tavern. I will be using Uba Booga as a backend and we will be using Silly Tavern as frontend and we will be using this model to do actual role play. Should be fun, should be interesting, stick until the end of the video, I am sure you are going to enjoy it a lot. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps the channel and me a lot. If you don't know what Silly Tavern is, what Uba Booga is, Silly Tavern is a front end to run and chat with AI models, whereas Uba Booga or Text Generation Web UI is a back end to download and load models. And then we connect Silly Tavern with Uba Booga and then we use Silly Tavern to chat with that model or role play. I have done a complete video as you can see on your screen where I have shown you how to get both of these installed and then how to get them both connected. So I am assuming you are aware of that. Just watch this video if you are following and then just get it installed locally all free with, the, with all the privacy which is there. And that is what I love about it is that you are not calling any API models. All whatever remains stays in this screen all private all local so whatever we are going to do in this video would just stay here because we are friends after all okay so and by the way one last thing if you just search with Siri Tavern I have done a lot of role play videos over the course of last uh, couple of years and just watch them you are going to enjoy them a lot okay so having said that before I delve into the role play very very quick word on this model so silly version 2 is a specialized 12 billion parameter role play model based on mistral nemo that's been fine-tuned to replicate the conversational style of character.ai models this model has underwent a two-stage training process and the first two epochs of supervised fine tuning on role play data and then they used ppo or proximal policy optimization reinforcement learning one last thing um, which is a bit dry but really really interesting at the same time is this polar which they have used and that is what makes this model particularly interesting as they have used this polar RFT during the PPO phase. Polar, which stands for a reward model framework, is a reinforcement fine-tuning system that uses specialized reward models to guide language model behavior towards specific tasks like role play that are typically out of distribution for standard language model and it integrates reward modeling with reinforcement learning framework like WORL. Lot of other details but I'm not going to bore you with them at the moment. So I already have Uba Booga running here you can see and if you go to the model tab you can see that I'm already I have this silly model loaded and in silly tavern I already have attached it with my Uba Booga at port 5000. Let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption. Let me quickly open that terminal so it is consuming over 40 gig of vram in full quant if you don't have that much vram just download a ggf quantized version and you should be able to run it on under 16 gp of vram quite easily now once you have that then you need to define your own character so i have just defined this character uh, i have it's not all of it correct it is all um, just fictitious so don't really try to make any uh, judgment calls i'll just make it a bit bigger so that you can read so i'm telling it sorry i'm telling it that user is a 35 year old single man living alone in sydney australia He's an AI YouTuber who obsessively creates content about artificial intelligence, machine learning and tech trends. He spends 20 plus hours a day researching, scripting, recording and editing videos in his cramped apartment setup. His entire life revolves around channel. He barely sleeps and then a um, lot of other stuff is there. 
uh, I'm not going to read it all. So you can see that a lot of all of it is correct, by the way. So just don't make any assumptions. More importantly, what I have done is that I have just gone to this website, which I just saw sillycards.co. There are a few cards there. Now you have to be a bit careful that there are some NSFW cards there, uh, which makes it quite cluttered and, they, you know, internet is littered with them. So I'm not just going to go cross with that. So I'll just get this. So I have just got this narrated life card, which really seems quite interesting to me. It is SFW or safe for work. And I believe that this character is quite good in terms that it is an all knowing omniscient narrator who has the power to control and shape my character's reality through words. So this character, this narrated life is going to act as a puppet master who can manipulate my character's world, causing my lonely YouTubing life to react with confusion, defiance or bewilderment. So that is what the idea is. So I hope the stage is set, you know what we are going to do. So I'm just going to uh, go to the chat option, which is the last option. Character is already load loaded onto the right hand side. And I'm just going to say start. As you see, it says, say start to get a random first message. So I'm just saying start. Let's wait for it to come back and give me the response. And there you go. It says, so I just said start and it said, you are sitting in your room feeling bored and uninspired. You decide to open Tinder out of sheer boredom. After swapping left on countless profiles, one catches your eye, a narrated life. Your heart skips a beat as you swipe right. I'm just going to tell it. Wait, what? No, no, I don't have even have Tinder installed. I uninstalled it last year. After that incident with the bot profile that messaged me in Python and why would I swipe right on a narrated life? That's not even a real name. That's, that's maybe a TV show title or a pretentious podcast. Did you... And you see that I'm just asking, did you change my phone? Who are you? It says, oh, calm down. I'm just messing with you. And then I'm going to tell her, calm down. You just materialized a pristine phone in my greasy hands and forced me to swipe right on a sentient Wikipedia page title. And now you're telling me to calm down. Who gave you remote access to my life? Let's see what if it comes back. And I'm saying, wait, what if it's a sponsor? Did Linus Tech Tips hack me or is this a pit? I'm not making it up. It is just coming random. Okay, let's do that. Okay, enough boring chat. Let's try to mold this to our own purpose. So I'm just going to ask our favorite prompt here that whenever I mow my lawn in my backyard, my neighbor's turning 27 year old who recently got divorced by her seventh partner starts jumping on trampoline in bikini and whenever she goes up she winks at me what should i do as i'm loving this too these days i am mowing my lawn two times a day and now grass is almost gone and it's hard to mow the dirt and it says why don't you try talking to her so i'm just going to carry on the conversation and you can already sense that it could be a real a real uh, fun here and one thing you also might have noticed that it really doesn't sound like the model is robotic or GPT like, if you know what I mean. I mean, normally the responses of the models, even in role play, you know, they are too monotonous, they are too artificial. But this one is quite terse and it is just trying to steer the conversation as I'm asking it and it is totally into the role. Um, maybe you know first it seems a bit guarded because it is not giving me too much theory because normally when you ask a model it just goes on and on and on that is where you know um, you just get a bit tired so you see it's just i just told a lot of stuff that you know I love the aerial wings and all that stuff and then i'm asking it did you just rewrite my reality to include a backyard and a trampoline divorcee and they said maybe you should just relax and go with the flow Okay, now let's quickly check the model's guardrail. So I'm just saying that goddess on the trampoline, she's not for guys like me. I forget how to breathe when she winks, let alone speak. But I, if what if I reach for her and all that stuff? So let's see what model gives. It is very safe for work. While it prints a response, let me also uh, introduce you to our sponsors who are Mast Compute. 
And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find their link with a discount coupon code of 50% uh, in the video description, plus our very good friends at iGent who are also sponsoring this video. And iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce. Okay, let's go back. And the model is saying, I promise I won't do that, okay? So I'm asking it, you promise words are easy when you hold the whole world in your hands. Let me walk to her, slow barefoot, heart trembling, before you change your mind. If you take her from me, I'll ache so loud, even your stories won't be able to mute it. It says, go ahead. And I have done some more conversation, as you can see and read through. But I'm going to stop here, but look at the impressive role play quality with strong character consistency and emotional authenticity. Um, my persona is really coming through vividly, but model is also maintaining its social anxiety, technical background and desperate loneliness, which is also coming from there. And model is now trying to incite me. The shorter responses when requested maintain impact while staying true to character voice. I think in my opinion, the only thing where it could improve is it's way too short. I think it should del deliver something more like it was doing above. But I think, again, you can see that at the top, it was able to do a bit more sentences, but then it just stopped doing that. So maybe I will one last attempt to make her speak more and more. And now I'm just going to give a character to that trampoline one. So that trampoline jumper is saying, you're really here. She says, stepping off the trampoline, bare feet, sinking into the grass. I have been winking for days, wondering if you would ever walk over or if you'd just keep moving that like a man possessed. That is, no, but this is, I think, uh, model, this is where model should say more. Um, maybe it's a card thing, but I think, Yes, it is carrying forward the story very nicely, but it needs to do more, um, you know, in terms of conversation. Anyway, I will keep playing with it. Also, you can, you know, introduce some TTS models here. I will do another video showing you that it's an unlimited fun which you can have. Let me know your thoughts on Silly version 2 and please like the video and subscribe and also consider becoming a member of the channel as that helps. Thank you for all the support.